follow me. We're going to leave Clarence House. We're going to walk across the Mall, and we are going to see St. James's Park right in front of us. Now look along the Mall, and you'll see the flagpoles. The flags are always put up when we have a big event like the London Marathon, which is postponed until October, uh, and any other state event will have the flags flying all along the flagpoles down the Mall. As we step into the park, we will see lots and lots of trees. It's very green here, I have to tell you. Uh, the London plane tree is uh, the typical type of tree that we see. Now, it hasn't always been the plane tree. In fact, back in the olden days, yes, 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 we can see rows of trees here in St. James's Park. Those were mulberry trees. Yes, one of our kings, King James, thought it would be very cool if England was known for its silk industry. So they planted a whole bunch of mulberry trees and then they introduced the silkworm. But they had planted the wrong species, or the wrong type of mulberry tree, and so all of the worms died and we don't produce silk here in England. Now as we cross over the road and we've gone underneath the canopy of the trees, we'll pass by a little hut and they're selling waffles. Can you smell them? I can smell them. Oh, they smell delicious. Okay, and then there's a beautiful uh, little lake there, body of water, right there, yes, in front of you. Now, in this body of water, you are going to see lots and lots of birds flying around. I mean, we've got penguins. No, we've got ducks. We've got swans. We've got lots of different types of birds. There's even parakeets. And the most famous birds of all are the pelicans. They were given to England from a Russian ambassador in 1664 and since then we've had over 40 pelicans make their home in St. James's Park. Uh, currently we have three beautiful birds, Isla, Tiffany and Gargi, and they were recently joined by three more birds, Sun, Moon and Star. 